My brain injury has made things more difficult. I have great days, I have mediocre days, but then I have terrible days. And the great days, yes, I still have issues with my whole, whole entire rest of my body, my speech. My mediocre days, a little bit stumbly, a little bit stumbly on my words. And then my bad days is where I literally have to stay strictly in my room because my speech is just so bad. I, you can't even comprehend what I'm saying. My rest of my body completely shuts down. Having trouble speaking is definitely a reason I wanted this to be shared, my story shared in this opera. The Falling the Rising is an opera that is based on interviews done with returning veterans. Uh, they were done at the VA hospital, and then uh, the librettist and the composer worked them together into a piece that tells the experience of a returning soldier. The story arc is, um, we begin with a female soldier who is in a, a roadside incident where she is placed into a coma. The arc of the show is really that soldier inside uh, this coma state, trying to kind of figure out the journey home, what it means to go back home, what it means to miss family. You want to tell the story of these real people because their stories matter to them. Jerry, the librettist, he was talking about how doing these interviews, family was the common sacrifice. And to be able to tell that story about sacrifice in a way that we can all relate to is important. I think, I think it's at the heart of who we all are. We are born into one family and we make the family that we, that we have now. And I think that's the really huge message of this. It's intriguing to me as a director because what it's about is all of us need a family. And whether it's our own family, and there's a lot of family talk in the piece, or whether it's the, the family of the army that supports one. Leaving um, the service and coming back into normal day-to-day -day civilian life, I guess you could say. I didn't have a place to be. I didn't have anyone to be in charge with. I didn't have someone in charge of me. And I didn't have someone that, if I don't have a good day, I didn't have someone I can um, just go to and talk with. And that was a big struggle. This opera presents soldiers for me in a way that was the first time that I felt like I related to a soldier's yeah. experience because yeah. it's so it's so much outside of society, which is another thing that opera draws from a lot is it'll take the person who's on the outskirts of society that people don't see into their lives and it brings it to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Opera and uh, military folks do not, you know, normally cross over a lot. But I think that, you know, being an opera my whole life and also music theater, when something is sung, it elevates it. It just makes it seem more important. The power of the human voice has a way of communicating through opera that is physical. It's this very organic, natural uh, art form, uh, the, the power with which opera singers can communicate ideas. It's such a real um, conversation that people need to have that these soldiers are coming home and they're not coming home the same way that they left. They're not the same people, rather be that mentally or physically like coming home, they're changed people. Well, I got um, critically hurt um, and I was in a coma for three months. Tyler was the first interview of the very first day with us, and he was the inspiration for that idea. We sat down 
really kind of as a blank slate. We had this sort of outline that we wanted, what we wanted to know. But as we soon found out, Tyler had his own story. We, we soon just experienced this sort of wisdom that came from, maybe he always had it, but I, I think his experience being in a coma for months, um, his experience with near death and, and trying to figure out what, it, what life was. Jerry asks this, this question, what's next for you? What's next? And it's sort of like a summation question, right? He just wants to sort of ease the tension of the conversation. And Tyler just looks him dead in the eye and says, There is nothing else. There's just right here and right now. And just you and me. Oh, my friend. Just now, just, now. just this. Just Ain't this. nothing else in life but this. This, this moment this. that we have right now. I started music therapy in my recovery, and music just helps out beyond belief. Many people, when they hear music therapy, they um, just look at you with like three heads and going, wait, what? How can music be therapy? I wrote my own pieces and um, on piano, my own spoken words. The miracle about life is you always find who you are and who you're meant to become. Why be like everyone else and like a machine, just repeating the same thing over and over again? We can be yourself and make change. Either you'll win or you'll learn, but you never lose. My, my life is finally feeling whole again. Your speech center in your brain is right here. Now, talking is just using this. But now, if there's music going on and I'm singing, I'm practicing, it doesn't just use this. Music activates your whole brain. So, all the neural pathways that are broken before are now trying to reconnect. I think to a person, the veterans that saw this show found it honest and truthful. And I think that was really important to them, that it was telling the true story. Not a made up story, not a, not a whitewashed story, not an over sentimentalized story, just the true story. The general quotable is, it just felt real. It felt like my life. I've never seen that before. I have seen opera perform, and I believe it very well portrays military lifestyle, military family, and just the whole support system of the family. A man who had served in World War II, this man said, you know, I've, I've seen things I've seen the way that Hollywood and television and books present soldiers' stories, present what it's like, present this image of war. And he said, this is the first time that it actually felt real, that it felt like my truth was on stage, that it, was, that it got it right, that it got the relationships right.
Veterans Coming Home is made possible with support from Casella Resource Solutions and the Cloud Splitter Foundation.